family. Tonight, well, today, tonight, it is the middle of the night. I'm going to be trying to fix my beautiful old computer. This is the reason I haven't had loads of uh, videos out recently, because my computer died. It is literally the middle of the night, as you'll see by my eyes, I'm hanging out my butt. But let's fix this thing, shall we? And then we can go to bed. You will hear bubbling sounds, and that is from all of this goddamn wine. I just won't stop making noise. Damn it, I might have to drink that sooner or later. I looked through so many different technical files to find out what might be wrong with this. Um, I originally thought it might be the CPU, and it was overheating and just phew, end of story. Then there was RAM issues, which I thought, oh, maybe that's it. I've now, I think, tracked it down to it being part of the actual uh, PSU, the power supply unit. Um, the irony is, I spoke to my friend David, who, um, he, kn he knows everything, basically, and I said, I think it's a power supply unit, and he was like, yeah, it is. I was like, oh, okay, and he goes, yeah, exactly the same thing happened to me. So, I've actually got a power supply unit, that I've had for quite some time for another project. Let's rock that one in here, see if the mother works. Right, I'm going to do this video like, um, everyone doesn't have a clue about any of this. To some degree. I can't go complete layman's and I can't go complete advanced, so I'm just gonna go the best way I can. Now, number one, I will I would normally have this plugged in to an outlet but turned off. So that there's always a static uh, you know, if I statically go bzzz, it will go straight to ground. I can't be bothered to do that, plus my overhead lights work in the same plug socket as etc etc. You know, it's um, it's one of those moments where you either want to be able to see what I'm doing or do it properly. So we won't do either. So, let's open this up. Now this I've already unplugged because I'd unplugged it a while back and this is like it's side fans. And then inside Oh well, can we see that? Let's have a little bit of a zoom in. Um, we got the power supply unit, PSU. Under here we have um, the CPU, which is the central processing unit, the sort of brains of the operation. This is my graphics card. Um, that is a Wi-Fi Kaiser. None of this is any help. And then I've got two hard drives, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this away I'm going to get my um, compressor and I blow the crap out of it so that all the dust is out of it before we even go any any steps further. Okay, here is the replacement. It actually, ironically enough, you see how much dust is on it. It wasn't bought as a replacement, it was bought as something for another project. But <sighs> my beautiful computer takes precedent all the time. I don't know if I've said what actually was going wrong with my computer, right? But at first it was just when it was heavy, heavy amounts of stuff going through, it would just shut down. So I thought, oh no, it's overheating. And um, I set up some clocks to keep track of the temperature, etc., etc. And um, it would just stop. So I just normally watch it and it'd be fine. And then I come home and go to watch it again. Suddenly it was dead again. I was like, what, what's going on? I then realized it was when some anything very high impact would happen, it'd just die. Later on, I decided it may just be that the CPU was knackered. It was overheating. So I set a heat test uh, temperature sensor so that if it got too hot it would tell me and it turn off I check the files nothing so it definitely wasn't the CPU but well, no I say it definitely wasn't it wasn't the CPU at the time that was causing that problem so I was like oh I just don't know what's going on and then um, this CPU came into post which was one I'd ordered for another project and I was like well, it's no way it's going to be that easy, is it? It's not going to be a CPU change. It's something else. I also thought it was the um, graphics card. Something to do with that. 
hopefully I was wrong. What we're doing is, as the title of this video says, we are swapping out my old CPU, um, sorry, PSU, for this one. If it works, I will be a very, very happy man because I was sure there was nothing I could do without spending loads of money and then finding out that no, that wasn't it, that wasn't it, that wasn't it. When I looked into the CPU of this, it was going to cost me about 100 quid. I was like, oh, should I buy a new CPU? And I just, I, I couldn't afford it. It was the be all and end all, couldn't afford it. This is what it's been over a year from me saying I've got no money and I need some help to this. I've still got the money and it'd be great to have some help. <laughs> right. So what we're going to do, we're going to swap out the um, PSU, the power supply unit, and hopefully that will sort all our problems out. But I'm very, very much of the belief that um, it sounds way too easy. But we shall see. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, it's the middle of the night. In fact, it's probably later than the middle of the night. One second. Do you know what? I was wrong. It's just coming up um, two minutes past twelve. So, I can't go upstairs, I can't do any of that stuff. I've been banned from doing experiments upstairs because explosions and sleep do not mix. Screwed the actual supply unit, and now it's a case of making sure every single little thing that it's connected to is disconnected and then reconnected in exactly the same way. So, now I built this computer, God knows how long ago, eight, nine years ago, and I remember when I built it, it was, it was a great computer, but God it hated me, so I, I, you know, every single thing I'd put into play, it would decide, nah, don't like you, so let's just hope that the newest PSU loves me and what we're doing slowly is finding out where it's uh, plugged into let's say CD-ROM drives etc and um, the heart, um, motherboard motherboard switch it, um, the connections are down here but I still got it my goodness me one second Basically, it's just a case of figuring out where all of these go. Oh, again, another blink and zip play. I can guarantee when I put this together, I was all like, neatness counts. Now I'm thinking, you're a div. Right. Always try, if you've had to unplug something, plug it back in, just so that, you know, um, I remember once years ago I was plugging in a, uh, no, sorry, I was sorting out a computer and it just kept overheating, overheating, now the reason they bought it to me was because it was overheating, no matter what I did it was just overheat, overheat, overheat. And then realised I had unplugged when they, they told me about it, the fan for the CPU. And all I needed to do was put some more thermal paste on, plug it back in, job done. But I was so hung up on something is making it overheat, it can't be me, 
that when I unplugged it from the motherboard, it was obviously me. Yeah. We live and learn, my guys. We live and learn. Right. Jeezy crazy. How many blinking zip ties? I don't even remember owning blue zip ties. Guarantee I did, but... Right. Okay. Unplug this one. Right. Main, main, main. I'm starting to unplug the PSU from the hard drives. get a special offer on zip ties <sighs> what on earth is that connected to right <sighs> Jesus Christ there you go right so you got one out of the way right I'm gonna start off by screwing in this uh, PSU because it's a little bit smaller than the one I'm, um, I just take taken out, so I'd rather just have it firm in place. I only one screw, and we'll go from there. So this one. Hilarious. This, this cow's never met a um, female cow in its life. Come on. Ouch. Okay. Right, last one. Um, this way. Right, I made that look like a pig's ear, but literally. You take your thing, you plug it into all exactly the same places. Jobs are good. Right, I'm going to re-screw um, this in. Just so nothing falls out. And then I will check. But now I'm going to have to search for a blinking um, a monitor. Because obviously all my monitors are upstairs. But unfortunately so are all my family. So... We're going to have to come up with a cunning plan to acquire a monitor. Back of it. And three, two, one. Nothing has exploded. This is amazing. And three, two, one. Oh my god. You don't know how beautiful it sounds. Okay, I have an old monitor. Actually, I have my actual keyboard. It's proper old, but don't don't take the piss out of it. And oh, all the other junk connected up. So theoretically, when I press this button, it's gonna tell me stuff. Part of me thinks that this isn't working. I will get one of my um, monitors in a sec if this doesn't work. Oh, 
the fact that it's um, right. The fact that there is air blowing out constantly tells me something good is happening. Hmm. So, power drive's not connected for some reason. Jesus, Jesus. 